Hello there, it's Emma, your creative business mentor. Oh my goodness, we are heading into 2021. It's been a bit of a crazy year, I won't go into that. I'm sure you're bored stiff of everyone talking about 2020, but we do need to talk about 2021 and how to get the best of working from home when you're a creative. Okay, I've been working from home for over 20 years. And in that time, I have had, I think, two or three dedicated studio spaces at home. I've done co-working spaces. I've worked from the dining room table. I've worked from the kitchen. In fact, I'm in my kitchen space now. Um, so I know what it's like to work from home. I'm totally unemployable. I haven't had a job since 1997. So working from home is something that I am an expert at. And I've always been an artist. So um, until recently, I'm, um, I was painting with physical paints and paper and paintbrushes and, and all kinds of paraphernalia for being a designer and an artist. It's only recently that I've gone to iPad. So I know exactly what it's like. And I want to help you make the most of working from home in 2021. Whether it's a new thing to you or whether you've been doing it for a couple of years and you just want to um, improve what you're doing and get some tips from, from me, an old veteran like myself. Okay, so the first one is daily practices. I have daily practices um, that sound a bit more official than they actually are. They're not like practices, you know. They're just things I do regularly um, every day. So I bookend my day. So in the morning, I have two hours. I get up at seven o'clock. I do my exercise. I put the television on. I have my breakfast. I always scroll through social media. I have to get that binge in. I know they say don't do that, but Nah, it works for me. And then I bookend my day at the at the other end um, with my virtual commute, which is that 5.30, um, laptop goes down, all my equipment gets tidied away, and I, because I don't have a commute in the car or in the train or on the bus, you know, where people generally sort of have that transition between work and home. We don't have that when we work from home. So I create my virtual one, and that is um, glass of wine and cooking, 5.30 every night. Whether the kids are home, whether the family's around or not, I cook and that's my virtual commute. So having those daily, that daily routine is really important. And I think that if you start off with having a routine, they say that the way you do one thing in life is how you do everything. So if you start with a morning routine, it doesn't have to be fancy, it just has to be something that motivates you to get out of bed, then one, you know, one action leads to the next action. And then if you have that structure, the bit in between for the bookends, um, is your work day and that helps you separate uh, that that sort of working from home and you know living at home the next thing about working from home which is absolutely key especially um, in 2021 when you know we may have more kids at home or more partners working from home is tidiness I totally reject the idea that to be a creative, you've got to be chaotic and, you know, um, in the moment and mess everywhere. I, I've, I've, I've never been messy. I've always tried to be tidy. So I tidy up every night before I go to my virtual commute. Um, I tidy everything up in my space, which I'll show you here. Um, I put my iPad, my, my laptop, my pencils, you know, my earphones, whatever it might be, just gets put on that cabinet every night and then when I wake up in the morning and I, I transition my kitchen from uh, kitchen to um, work area I've got everything ready and neat ready to go mess how say to my kids no mess no stress you know a tidy mind needs a tidy desk and I cannot work with mess so I think if we can sort of incorporate some kind of tidiness it's um it's useful for everybody now I know it's hard to be tidy uh, when you've got family. Now you think it's hard to be uh, tidy. Now my kids are now at university, but I've been in business for 20 years. And so they've been part of my creative business journey for 20 years. And in that time, whether I've had a studio or whether I've worked, you know, from the dining room table, I've always made sure that my family knows that this is mum, mum's working now. Don't bother me. 
um, unless someone's dying. <laughs> Um, I don't want to be bothered. This is my workspace. Uh, you wouldn't go into, you know, someone's official office and say, hey, do you know where my knickers are? You, you wouldn't do that. You'd go and sort yourself out. You, you know. So you can, depending on the age of your kids, obviously, um, you have to carve out this rule in the family that this is your work time. This is your mental space. Because otherwise you've got this mental load of the family asking you everything because you haven't set boundaries for yourself working from home. So that is really, really important. Now, procrastination, that is a, a problem working from home. And my procrastination um, uh, bad habits are procrastinating snacking. Um, I'm always going, oh, I can see what's in the fridge. Or procrastinating cleaning. Like sometimes when I really don't want to do something or I'm mulling something over in my head, I'll go and fold the laundry or, um, you know, procrastinate cleaning. So I make sure that I actually build a bit of time into my day so I can procrastinate and not feel guilty about it. So that's like social media, that's making sure I have a, a really good breakfast. Start off your day with a really great breakfast, it's important. Um, I, I do something called intermittent fasting. So I'm, I'm leaving about 14 hours between my supper and my breakfast. And that, you know, makes me feel really awake and alive. I'm not just cramming food in, I'm making sure I'm getting some really good nutrition and giving my body a rest from constantly um, digesting. Which is not really anything to do with creative business, but that's a little insight into my life. Now, this is the um, hack that I have in my business working from home, is when I need to concentrate on a project and really concentrate, get into that absolute flow state, to produce artwork, to produce design work, is I put the TV on. Yep, I love detective shows, I love murder mysteries, I love thrillers, I love binge watching series. And when I'm, when I'm sitting in front of a series or a, a, a film, I know that my bum is stuck on the seat. Actually, in fact, it's on this TV behind me here. So whether it's Netflix or Foxtel or whatever it might be streaming, I use television to help me focus. Now, I have this little funny, you know how they say time, you know, is circular and time is, is flexible? Well, if I'm watching a murder mystery or some sort of detective show, it often takes like two or three weeks a month for that thrill, that, um, that mystery to be solved or the murderer to be found. And somehow I go into my, this rabbit hole um, in my head and I get that amount of time to do my work. So although it might be an hour, two hours, I feel like I've had weeks and weeks doing it. Because somehow, I don't know, maybe if you're a quantum physician, you'll be able to help me understand this. But I feel that I've got loads of time. So I actually use the television as a focal point. So if I'm feeling a little bit scatty and procrastinating snacking or procrastinating cleaning, I make sure I have a really good series to watch. And I put my bum on my seat and I get my iPad out and I get the work done because I go into this kind of this rabbit hole of... Um, real focus. Now that might not work for you, you might think, oh my god, TV distracts me too much, but I've got this really great habit now, um, it's a skill, it's my superpower, I can actually watch, listen, you know, I can know what's going on by not having to watch it all the time. So anyway, that might help you, might give you permission to watch TV, people say, don't watch TV when you're working. Well, it helps me to work. So I hope that's given you a little bit of insight into how I structure my work day and working from home. And um, I'd love to know how you structure your day working from home. Do you have any hacks and tips that you want to share with us? Uh, pop them in the comments below. And if you really want a laser focus for 2021, why don't you join my creative business mentorship program called the Bespoke Business Hub. I'm in there. Lots of great creatives are in there. It's a fabulous community. You get instant access to 12 videos specifically tailored for creative business, none of this cookie cutter stuff. And it's not drip fed over many weeks. You get instant access. It's like a pick your own adventure. You can go and watch the videos whenever you want. You can go back to them. We've got the community. We've got live Zoom and mentoring sessions. We've got the speaker series with guest experts. Um, yeah, and all the content within the membership area. So I would love to see you in there. All the comments, uh, all the, the details are in the, in the show notes below. And have a fabulous start to 2021.